This is a Rutke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to run the older disk utility in the newer OS installs, including El Capitan and also Mac OS Sierra. Now, there has been many different hacks to allow you to use Yosemite's old disk utility in El Capitan, and I assume it also worked in Sierra. But it takes a lot of hacking, and most tutorials out there have you replace your stock disk utility. That could be a problem if you ever actually need the original disk utility, or if it corrupts your install. The way I'm going to show you to do this doesn't require modifying anything. You just need a copy of the Lion Disk Utility. So, let's begin. First off, we will need to download the Lion Disk Utility from this address right here, which I will supply a link to in the video description. Download this and unzip it to wherever you would like. Now that we have it downloaded, if we try to open it, we will get this message right here. You cannot use this version of this application, etc, etc, etc. We click OK. So how do we run it? Well, with later versions of Disk Utility, starting with Mountain Lion, Disk Utility is encrypted a little bit more, where the Lion Disk Utility bypassed all the security features of the newer OSs. Now, the Disk Utility hasn't changed much at all since the PowerPC days, up until El Capitan came out, where it completely changed to a pretty useless utility for anything but for formatting and that's about all you can use it for anymore. Well, since Lion Disk Utility is basically the same as Mountain Lion, Mavericks, and Yosemite's Disk Utility, it's still not a problem. To make the Lion Disk Utility work, the only thing we have to do is right-click on it, go to Show Package Contents, go to Contents, then Mac OS, and just double-click on Disk Utility. It will bring up a terminal window, and then it will open. Now, this disk utility is still fully functional, and even though if you looked earlier, you get an error message, which I'll show you in more detail later in the video, uh, saying that it's for an older OS, it still works fine. There is nothing different in this, and the greatest thing about it is you can still open up your regular disk utility, and not override it. And we still have the old disk utility, which gave you the options for DMGs, and restoring, and disk burning, and multiple other features. The only thing that I have found is the disk permissions don't seem to work. I don't know why, but you can always still repair disks with uh, an installer if you really have to. Otherwise, this is a 100% functional disk utility still, and you can still use it just like you could in Yosemite. Even though it's a Lion disk utility, it's still totally fine. So, how can we make this work even better? Well, let's get to that. So let's say we want a one-click shortcut to open up our disk utility without having to go right-click, etc., etc., etc. The only thing we need to do is first figure out where we want to put the application. In this case, I'll pull it into my Applications folder. Now, we will want to right-click, Show Package Contents, Contents, Mac OS, then right-click on Disk Utility, and go to Make Alias. It will make a shortcut to this executable window. We pull it to wherever we want. For instance, I want to put it on our desktop. We then close this out, and we can name this whatever we want. For instance, I'll name it Line Disk Utility. Now we have the window. We can have this anywhere we want, except, of course, the application folder or in the launch pad but we can have it on our desktop, in any folder we want, but we can't put it on our dock. But other than not being able to put it on our dock 
or the launch pad, we can still have it anywhere on our computer, desktop, drive, folder, etc., etc. And we can just double click on it. It will automatically open up a terminal window and go right into disk utility where we will get this message I told you I'd go into more detail about. Just ignore it and click OK. And we have the fully functional disk utility. Anyway, well that is the end of the video. And thank you for watching. This has been a Rod K Mods video. We're in the launch pad. But we can have it on our desktop in any folder we want. We could even pull it down to our dock if we really wanted to. But we can't put it on our dock.